All right, to change this M core, the first thing we're going to do is lift the seat, kill all the power by putting the vehicle into tow. Let's make sure we're on level ground and let's have the parking brake not engaged. Okay, so parking brake not engaged. First thing we need to do is remove the golf car's floor mat. Four screws. This is flexible so you can lift this up to pull back the floor mat. I recommend completely removing the floor mat itself. Okay, well the exact same bolt you use to remove the floor mat is the bolt you use to remove these screws right here. These screws are a little bit longer than these screws. That's how you can differentiate them. Next thing you need to do is remove this little access panel. That's just a push pin. So it's fairly easy to remove. Hang on to that. Okay, now we've got to make a change. Now what I typically do is these screws are actually bolted to the frame of the golf car itself. When you pull these all the way out, you really don't need to completely remove them. Just pull them all the way up to the top and that should give you enough. To you can now raise the pedal group enough to access the M core. Okay. And so this raises up, and that's why I don't believe you have to remove the screws completely. And you can now see the M core, okay? And there is one screw, and then there's these two wires. So these wires disconnect fairly easily. Okay, and then there is one screw here. Is that a Phillips or the same tip? No, it's the same kind of tip. Okay. We'll have to get you the sizes here in a minute. Okay, this screw is removed and now the M core is accessible. And that's the M core. Okay. Might want to give them a little shot of that right in there. You got a prong here, a prong there, and then it fits flush. So when the M core goes, the new M core just attaches just like that. And then you take that small screw and get it started. Just like that. And then reattach the wires. And then you can set everything back down again. So make sure to get that size back to them here. Remember, it's the two longer screws.
point, you can now put your access panel back on. You're good to go. And now you put the floor mat back on. And I'm going to go ahead and go through that too because that actually can be a little bit of a pain. But there are some tricks to it. Okay. The key to putting on the floor mat is to not be scared of the side retainers because you can pull those out and pop them back in place. So, okay, lift here. Remember these are flexible, don't be scared. Pop them back in place there. Now, come on around here, Mike. This side retainer can just pop out, so don't be scared of that. So lay it everything down flat, and then go ahead and put the side retainer back on. Hit it here, hit it there, hit it there, hit it there, and it's back in place, okay? Now come around to the other side. Same thing, don't be scared of the side retainers. They pop back in place. So go ahead and rip them out, straighten everything, then put them back in place. All right, now you got the four screws. That's it. That's how you do it.